I'm going to use some metaphors to uh, do my best to explain my understanding or my perspective of people's spines and shoulders and knees and hips and stuff like that. So um, if you've been in class, you've heard a lot of this, but uh, recently I, I just took another course and Dr. Cobb, the founder of eHealth, uh, started talking about how movement is a symphony and it really kind of hit home with me. So I'm going to elaborate on that because I think it really helps understand things. So. Um, whether it's your back or your knee or your shoulder or your hip, anything like that, if you keep running into dead ends with your rehab or your exercises, I would say that you're probably missing some pieces of what I would call the movement symphony. Uh, and as I dig into some neurology terms, don't get overwhelmed by the neurology terms, just listen to the big picture. So most of the time when you go to most practitioners, you got a knee problem, they just look at your knee. You got a back problem, they just look at your back. You got a shoulder problem, they just look at your shoulder. Rarely is your spine problem just about your spine. Rarely is your knee problem just about your knee. Rarely is your shoulder problem just about your shoulder. Now, as we look at that, like if all your systems are working very well, then sure, you can just work on the knee for a knee problem. You can just work on the spine for a spine problem. But as I think, as you think about some of these other systems, okay, if you don't address those, just working on the knee for the knee, not gonna fix it long term. Just working on the spine, just for the spine, is not gonna fix it long term. So, um, the symphony of movement. So again, as I get into some neurology, don't, don't get overwhelmed by it, just think about the big picture. So, in any move we make, before we even move, it gets initiated from the frontal cortex, it goes to the basal ganglia to get a plan, back to the frontal cortex, through the midbrain to the cerebellum to check that plan, back to the frontal cortex, then to your spine and out your peripherals before you even move. And that keeps going as you move. So like there's a lot of loops there, a lot of things that make us do, make us able to do amazing things, but there's also many places where things can go wrong. In addition to that, there's a constant loop from your eyes to your cerebellum to your frontal lobe. There's a constant loop from your inner ears to your cerebellum to your frontal lobe. There's a constant loop from all your peripheral nerves to your cerebellum to your frontal, loop, uh, frontal lobe. All of those, your eye, the loop for your eyes, your inner ears, and your peripheral nerves is the job is, are you accurate? Like if I went to get that drink and if everything's working right, great. I go smoothly there, I got just enough pressure, like say if that was a paper cup. I don't crush the paper cup, I don't drop the paper cup, I get it to my mouth. Now, if things aren't, some, any of those loops isn't working so right, I miss my cup, I knock it over, I crush it. And you can think about it in any movement. Uh, one of the ladies I work with, like her, like, and that's an extreme case, which might not be used, so you might not notice those, but what if those loops are off just a little bit? What's gonna to happen to my spine? What's gonna to happen to my knees? What's gonna to happen to my shoulder? If I'm a little in it, inaccurate. Yeah. So when, and uh, we'll get back to the spine, but like think about the shoulder. In a perfectly working shoulder, how much space around the joints is there? Like a hair. So if you're off a little bit, that starts grinding. You got a little more space in your spine, but same thing, like, okay, if that's off a little bit, then you start getting pinched nerves and, you, and stuff like that. So really thinking about all those loops and really how important are your eyes, your inner ears, all your peripheral nerves and your whole body towards a well-moving shoulder, a well-moving spine, a well-moving hip, a well-moving knee, anything like that. Yeah, so again, what I tend to work, uh, people I work tend to work with on 101 tend to be like, I tried this and I tried this and I tried this and I tried this and it didn't work. Because most of those things would be just looking at your back instead of like, hey, if you, like I said, if you keep running into dead ends for those things, it's probably because other systems are not working right. And to really look at all those systems to make sure. If you would like to work with me, give me a call at 863-845-0609. Give me a call or send me a text. Talk to you soon. Thanks.